Welcome to Reading Horizons Elevate. This overview will help you to understand how to navigate through this program. Let's begin by talking about a few key features. After entering your site login and student login, and confirming that it is the right login information, you will indicate whether you are accessing the software from school or another location. You will then arrive at the dashboard. It is the first screen you will see every time you log in and will be the screen you use most often to navigate the software. The large section in the center of the screen indicates which lesson or activity is next. Pressing the arrow will take you straight into that lesson or activity. The tabs along the top of the dashboard allow you to access other environments and features. The Lessons, Vocabulary, and Library tabs will be covered in separate videos. The Games tab gives you access to our skill-based games that help you practice reading, spelling, and decoding in a fun and engaging way. If there is not a Games tab along the top, then your instructor has disabled the Games option. The Pronunciation tab takes you to the Pronunciation tool. Here you will be able to practice the pronunciation for vowels, consonants, and other sounds. Click on one of the sound buttons on the left to hear the narrator say the sound and to see a diagram that shows you how to reproduce the sound. Click on the Video tab to watch a video of the narrator pronouncing the sound. Press Replay to watch the video again. If a microphone is connected to the computer, you can record your own pronunciation and then listen to it to compare yourself to the narrator. Click on the circle button to record, the square button to stop, and the triangle to play the recording. Click on the ABC button to see how the selected letter is written. To see it drawn again, click on this button. Otherwise, Click on the Continue button to close the letter draw screen. To exit the pronunciation tool, click on the X in the upper right corner. The Reports tab shows you a quick snapshot of where you are and what you have accomplished to date in the program. The Lesson Progress section shows how far you have progressed in the lessons, your current lesson, and your average score on the lessons. The Vocabulary Progress section shows the total number of words you've learned, the number of assigned words you've completed in your current lesson, and your average decoding score. The Reading Library Progress section shows your current reading level, your reading improvement, and how many lessons you've read in each level, gold, silver, or bronze. To review this and other tutorials again, Simply click on this at the bottom of the screen and select the desired video. To log out of the software, click on the Exit button, also at the bottom of the screen. The program begins by assessing your understanding of foundational reading skills through the phonics screener. In this assessment, you will be asked to spell 42 words. To begin the assessment, you will click the Go button on the main dashboard. The narrator will read the first word, and you will spell it using your computer's keyboard. You will then use your mouse or the Enter key to select the Next button and continue the assessment. If you want to hear a word repeated, click the Replay button at the bottom of the screen. If you misspell three words in a row, the assessment will end early. If you pass this assessment with 95% or higher, Lesson material will be overridden, and you will work exclusively in the reading library and vocabulary sections of the software. However, if you do not pass the assessment with 95% or higher, you will take the diagnostic assessment to receive a targeted lesson track that matches your specific needs. At the completion of the phonics screener, you will be taken back to the main dashboard to take the reading library assessment. When you are ready, select the Go button to enter the assessment. In this assessment, you will be asked to read a short passage, then answer a question that relates to the passage. Use your mouse to select the answer you believe is correct, then click the Continue button to move to the next passage. When you complete the assessment, your Lexile measure will appear on the screen. 
You will then select the Exit button at the bottom of the screen to return to the main dashboard, where you will take the diagnostic assessment if you didn't pass the phonics screener with 95% or higher, or access the reading library if you did pass the phonics screener with over 95%. To take the diagnostic assessment, select the Go button in the middle of the dashboard. Like the phonics screener, you will begin by spelling a word that is read by the narrator. You will then use the keyboard to type your response, then use the mouse or Enter key to select the next button. Based on your performance on each word, the question type may change. There are four question types you may receive during the assessment. Spell the word fill in the blank, select a nonsense word, or select a word. If you receive a fill-in-the-blank question, you will use your keyboard to type in the missing letters before selecting the next button. If you are asked to select a nonsense word or a real word from a list of three options, you will use your mouse to choose the answer you believe is correct. As soon as you select an answer, you will automatically move on to the next question. A few of the questions will ask you to spell or select the correct syllable of a word, rather than having you spell or select a whole word. Throughout the assessment, if you would like the narrator to repeat a word, choose the Replay button at the bottom of the screen. At the completion of the assessment, you will be taken back to the dashboard, where you will click the Go button to begin lesson instruction. If you passed the phonics screener with over 95%, you will not take the diagnostic assessment. Rather, after taking the reading library assessment and returning to the dashboard, you will click the Go button to read passages in the reading library that match and stretch your current Lexile measure.